Hello everyone, welcome to Quick Code Academy. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to resolve this zone.js related issue. So, in your application, if you are facing any blank screen issue, then first thing you need to observe is from the console. So, in the console, you should see something of this sort, like error in this configuration angular requires zone.js or in some cases, you may see uh, the error related to ng0908 and this content t.bootstrap module factory would be same in most of the uh, cases. So in that, how to resolve this issue? So first of all, if you are facing this issue in any environment, so you will not able to reproduce it, this in the your local host. So how to reproduce that? So for that, you will have to create build in your application. So generally, we create build using ng build command. And if you are uh, configured uh, any package.json, so in the package.json, you can have the reference. So here in my package.json, this command is same as npm run build is same as ng build. So if you run this command, npm run build, one this folder will get generated. So in in my case, it is already generated. So if you see this uh, directory structure here, I'm seeing one dist folder. And within this, your app name folder, you would have all the files. So generally, this zone.js related issue when it comes, okay. So while running your application, this polyfills.ts file should load before main.js file. So if that sequence is not followed, then you would see this error as you can see on my Chrome. So here I'm getting this error. But in this index.html file, if I reposition it and call polyfill.js file first before calling main.js, then you should see that error should disappear from the screen. So here I'm refreshing again. So now you can see that error has resolved. And if I make it uh, polyfill.js at last, then you should see that error again. So let me go back on my browser. And here if I refresh it again, so I'm getting this angular required zone.js error. So how to resolve this issue? So for that, one thing you would have to do is you will have to check one file in your application that is polyfill.ts. So here, if I go over here, polyfill.ts, and then you need to copy this import zone.js file, and we need to import it in our main.ts file. And if if we just follow this step and create our build by running this command npm run build, then it will always call polyfill.ts file before main.js. In that way, we'll be able to resolve this issue. So here you can see we have we are calling polyfill.ts at last. But as soon as this build will get will get generated, the order will be sorted and polyfill.js file will be called before main.js. So let it run. So I have run one command npm run build, which is nothing but ng build. And once this build command is successfully executed, the build will get generated. Now we can see the build has generated and let's have a look at this main index.html file again. So I'm clicking on index.html file and if I format it properly, then here you can see main.js is at last position and polyfill.js is above that. So if I save this file and again refresh this, then here we go. Our application is loading successfully. In many of the application, you will uh, face this issue intermittently and you don't have clear path how to resolve this. So if you face same kind of issue, then you can follow these steps. I hope this resolves your problem. Thank you.